Hey guys, X here. Uh, welcome to a new series here. So today I picked uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. And I picked this one for a reason because you see I happen to be a very avid car enthusiast. I have worked on multiple cars. I'm that guy who cannot take a car and leave it stock. I have to make it faster. So it'll be kind of interesting to see where this goes. Now, I'll look at other ones in the European pace kind of cars. You no, know, it's, yeah, it's okay. To me, a car is a car and I love them all. You know, but this one has some American muscle in it, seem like. I mean, right away, I'm already impressed. Now, now they say, don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, but just looking from this loading screen, I mean, we have a nice V8 here. I mean, so I uh, cannot complain, especially when you have a, a supercharger on top of it like you do. <laughs> looks actually looks like a Whipple supercharger. So now, um, like always, I have not played this game. I have not watched any other Let's Plays. I've, I've actually... Never even played any other car mechanic simulator, so this is going to be uh, everything in the roster. We're going to figure it out as we go. Um, one thing I will not do is uh, go and wiki something and try to figure out how to do it. We're going to try to figure out everything in game here. So like I said, I'm a very avid car mechanic. I know a lot about these, uh, these things, so it's going to be interesting to see how in detail they're willing to go. So uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started. So I have, uh, I have no profile, so we'll go ahead and... We'll start a, a new one here. All right. Now, okay, there we go. New. So apparently we're starting in classic mode. I don't know if there's another mode, but that's what we're going to go with. As always, uh, I do encourage you guys to check out the the Pirate Bay gaming community. Uh, I'm a, I pretty much fell in love with this community, and there's a bunch of good uh, guys there. You know, I embrace a bunch of games. So, you know, if you ever have a spare minute on your hand, drop by in the team speak and say hello. I'll have the uh, the URL and the web address down there in the comment section or, or the description. And like always, as I play through this thing, you know, if you see anything that you know, you'd like me to, you know, try to do or try out or whatnot, you know, leave me a post down there in the comment section and we'll get back to you and we'll uh, try to get her done. Alright, welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Huh, tutorials. We'll show you, hmm. You know what? I'm going to jump right into it. And I kid you not when I say I have never played this game, but you know what? We're going to jump right into it and I hear a phone. So I just cracked open my can of Coke here and my uh, my toaster strudels, and that's going to be a good way to uh, to get our stream going here. Um, all right, oh yes, I'm already impressed. So, oh yeah, all right. So I, I, I'm a tuner, right? So, I mean, here we have a Garrett Turbo. You know, I mean, I, I use Garrett Turbos all the time in my my builds. Those are awesome. 57 Chevy Bel Air there with the chrome. Nothing like good old American muscle. I'll take it. Actually, no, this, I want to say this is what the 57 Chevy with the bullet bumper. That definitely looks like a Chevy front end. Huh. Garrett by Honeywell. That would be Garrett Turbo. So this is the fact that they did, oh, you can see over here, that they got a Garrett licensing is amazing. Delphi Parts, yep. Uh, Delphi is a, a real manufacturer. So I will definitely uh, you know, appreciate that. Oh yes, <laughs> looks like a Chevy Big Six. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. You probably get a lot of that. I'm kind of sick. All right. Oh, carburetors. Nothing like three carburetors in a row. All right. So already first impressions, graphics. I'm gonna say I am uh, thoroughly amazed. I mean. We have Carlos here, so hopefully that means we can more work on multiple projects at a time. Um, I honestly, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I don't know if they have to drive them on there, if they just transport. Uh, path test. Don't know what that is. Paint shop. Okay, well, hey. I wonder if we can do some custom paint. That's cool. I can respect it. Can we go upstairs? Can we go upstairs? Oh, we can't go upstairs. Just for decoration. All right. Tech manual. Computer and there's a Garrett Turbo. Yes, awesomeness, awesome. All right, so can we go out the exit? Don't know what we can do outside. Let's find that really quick. The exit. 
Oh, okay. Test track, garage, auction center. Huh. What was up with the auction center? You had to like, I don't know, can you like, well, no, because you're working on people's cars. Oh, maybe you can buy cars. I don't know. We'll find out. Repair table. All right, so let's redo our repairs. Uh, parking. Apparently my parking lot's under construction. Radio. We've got some weird music playing. Not my particular taste, but you know what? Hey, it works. All right. So, I have four jobs waiting. Uh, what's the photo camera for? Oh, okay, that's just... Yep, don't need to take any photos. Alright, well the phone was ringing, I guess they didn't want to answer. There we go, that's a message. Ah! Here's where we get our, uh, our cars. Alright. I don't recognize any of these cars. Alright, so I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and start with our first job here. So we got some... Pretty interesting jobs, but just to learn the game, ain't nothing wrong with an oil change. I do love some soda. All right, here we go. We got a damn. I don't know what that is. A golf cart. So here we have a glorified golf cart. Um, disassemble, go ahead and do that. <coughs> so apparently it's a Rhino Piccolo. <coughs> God damn that cop. Phone's ringing, they're going to have to wait. Alright, we need to get this, well obviously oil change, I mean, I thought I saw some, I mean there's a floor jack, but. We got body to lift. We need to use a body lift. Um, let's see. Our options. Normal mode, assemble body mode. Move vehicle. Yes. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, well, apparently I don't have test pads. So yeah, so we're going to... We'll go with the left lifter. Yay. All right. So controls are... Yep, they're always over here. So let's get this baby up and let's see what we're working with here. Okay. Alright, well, I mean, oil change is going to be easy. It's just going to be that bolt right there. I mean, this is a front wheel drive engine, so. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's start taking her apart. Let's see. Normal mode, assemble body mode. But we don't need to assemble anything, though. Do we? Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're going. All right, let me just figure out controls here. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to take it apart. We don't want to take it apart. Yeah, see, that's not the right way. All right, so apparently I don't know how to. All right. So, can we put it back together now? There we go. All right, let's put her back in. So I wonder if that drained the oil? Ideally it would. I mean, I can't imagine taking off an oil pan with a... Uh... Alright, let's disassemble. Let's just make sure. There we go. So we got change oil, drain old oil, and refill with new. And oil filter. Yep, good, Jerry. You always gotta do that oil filter. Uh, 
All right, so why can't we? Why can't we drain the world on this thing? Do we have to use like a drain like an Oreo? I'm not seeing one. Maybe they want it to be exact. Like, you no, know, in real life, when you do an oil drain, the first thing you do is you come under the hood and you uh, and you pop the oil cap here. So we'll come to the engine. See, that's just filling it up. Should be the oil change dipstick. All right. Well, apparently that when we took the pan out, the pan off that drained it. Uh, let's check. We should be able to check our order. Um, okay. Yeah. So I guess that we uh, we changed it up. Oil filter. Easy. Let's get this sucker up. Oh, I hope we don't hit anything with that hood. It's like, oh, you gotta replace the hood now. All right, so oil filter. So that's gonna be the oil filter right there, that big sucker on the front. Now what's gonna be interesting is if um, this is, okay, it's a whole thing. All right, well, I'll just oil filter out. No, I'm guessing I don't have an oil filter. All right, time to call AutoZone. Do you use a phone? Ooh, ooh, oh, onboard diagnostics. Those things are your best friends in real life. Or it might be a multimeter. No, that one's a multimeter. All right, ordering stuff. Can you use a telephone to call? Well, we have the internet. Internet. There we go. So we need, we're going to search for an oil filter. Well, we took a black one off. It, that wasn't a V8 though. Was it? Well, you know what? It's nine bucks. Actually, how about this? How about we look at what we have? How to do that? Open inventory. All right, let's open our inventory. We should have the old one in there. In line four. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, we need in line four. There we go. Twenty-five bucks. All right, let's get back under her. I guess we want to assemble. We want to do the brand new oil filter. Bam. All right, the shoe is gonna be ready to go. Look at our order here, as soon as we can. All right, new repair order. Done it, oh, there we go, finished job. All right, folks, we finished our first job. There is nothing wrong with that, so. Thing here, you know, it took a little bit about 13 minutes for the first job and whatnot. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll knock out one more job, uh, then we'll wrap this episode up and we'll move on. So I mean, I'm impressed with the graphics. Like, so we got official sponsoring here, you know, from Garrett and other manufacturers. You know, which I really like. I do like being, you know, that immersed in the realism, if you will. So we're going. We'll get one, one more knocked out here. Telephone. Engine power has failed. Oh, look, it's another golf cart. Fixed all engine problems. You know what? We're just going to take the first one. A Royal Bianco. Alright. You know, we're going to get. Yeah, we're going. We'll finish this one up. Let's use the right lifter this time. We're going right. Alright, so. Open crankshaft bearing camp. 
exhaust manifold oil pan. Wow, a crankshaft bearing cap. There were that's really kind of advanced. I'm surprised. I'm gonna I wonder how people will uh, will do on this game. Alright, so we need to repair an oil pan, the exhaust manifold, the crankshaft bearing cap. Alright, let's get her done. This might be a little bit longer than oil change, but I figure some of this stuff out, so let's go ahead and get her going. It's like a little Ford Focus. Oh wow, look at that oil pan. Things all rusty. So first things first, I guess we need to drain the oil out. There we go. Oil cleaning costs a hundred. Is that like supposed to like bring something under here? Um that for a toolbox. Oh. OBD scanner. Oh, I don't have any of a much meter compression tester. Tablet. Wonder what that's for. Fast unbolting. Cool stuff there. So I paid hundred dollars for oil cleaning cost. I, mm, that means because I didn't use a, a cart or something. I don't see a, an oil changing dolly though. So I don't know. Um, let me just charge a customer. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get this sucker uh, taken apart here. All right, so there we go. I love how it outlines them for you. All right, let's get in here and look. So, there's our, ba our crankshaft bearing caps. Our other uh, exam mode. Let's exam these. Oh, look right there. You can tell right there. There's our bad boy, huh? How the rest of these look? Oh. Alright, so it's a four cylinder car, so we should only have three. So. Okay, there. Condition 65, 68, and I believe they said either you 64 or above. So that's definitely going to be our, our culprit here. All right. So we have our oil pan, our bearing cap off, now the exhaust manifold. So normally, normally load the car. Normally, I do this from the, the top of the engine. Depending upon the car. This one looks like it's an inline floor. We have like the Honda Civics here, same type of thing. Alright. Well, actually, you know what? You usually, yeah, we're gonna have to disconnect the uh, the exhaust pipe. And that's normally done from under. So we have our exhaust pipe right here, this gray pipe. So we're gonna see if it's gonna allow us to disassemble it from the bottom. We should have a catalytic converter on it somewhere right back there. There's a catalytic converter. All right, so oh, we can't take it off. Maybe we gotta do it from the top. Okay, well let's lower her down the ground and see what we got. There is some really funky music, man. I wonder if we can play it some good like American oldies. All right. Oh yeah. I love how they kind of simplify the engine. But anyway, so that's the exhaust manifold right there under the, the heat shield. Now I did see it says we can repair it. So we're gonna, I think we're going to try to repair this. Now I have the repair bench. So there we have our exhaust manifold. So let's go see what we can actually repair. Repair items at the repair table. Hmm. Oh, I guess we can only... Ooh, chance to repair 40%. Well, guess we try. Oh, it's 63. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, I think they're telling me we missed it by one. Uh, let's look at the order. 62. Ooh, we got it. Repeat parts with... Okay. 
We should be good. We should be good. Well, since we're here, we have to order the new, uh, the oil pan and the, what's it called? The, the exhaust manifold. So I think we're dealing with an I-4, right? Yeah. That was definitely an I-4. Inline 4 is with the I-4, and then, we don't really see too many of these in America where you have, you know, the inline 6. That's your V8, or your standard V8, and your V8 overhead valves. It's usually your big boy, it's your American muscle. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. So we need our exhaust manifold. Make it easy here. Single overhead cam. I do believe... Wait, no, it wasn't a single overhead cam, though. Well, I don't know, I have to look inside. I want to say this one. Yeah, we're going to gamble. I'm going to say this one. All right. Since we already have the engine done here, we'll go ahead and just uh, pop this. We'll go into assemble mode. Well, I'm getting the hang of this really easy, so do that. Look at that. Gamble paid off. We are awesome mechanics. Why well, can't I wait to get into this game? You have to like really get down to the nitty gritty on it. So, I'm not even told, so normally you would know do a... You know, uh, alternate panel, that one, this one, that one, you know, this one, you know, that one. Then you would go back, you know, down, up, down, up, you know, down. So we get even compression all across and if we're doing this, you know, realistically. So we'll put our cat back on there. All right. Let's go ahead and close this hood. We should be done under, oh, actually, no, we're not done. We have to put oil in the car. But $100 to, uh, for an oil disposal fee. That was crazy. Alright. How do I right, zoom in here? So we need to go into assembly mode. Find our bearing cap. Okay, the camera's like a little bit getting used to. Alright, to assemble mode right there. 63. Alright, what's it? Oh, that's oil pan. Oil pan, yes. On there, inline four oil pan. Perfect match. So we've got to hold up for our drain plug. Alright, now I'm going to worry. It looks good. Alright, we should be done under the car. Let's get some oil in her. We'll get her off to her destination. Look okay, at that rim. That rim has definitely seen better dates. <coughs> All right. So last time the can kind of moved, and I think that's when it's about right. So we want right there. All right. Let me find our dipstick, and let's go ahead and check her up. Perfect. All right. I believe this one's gonna be ready to go. Earned 353 bucks on that job. Good stuff. I don't know if I made him pay for that $100 for that oil cleanup or whatnot. Alright, so we're going to end this episode here. Uh, I think this may be a game worth pursuing. So uh, I think we'll jump into a couple more episodes here and we'll see what goes on. As always, you know, tell me what you think. You know, what you want to see, what you want to talk about. I mean, you know, this series and we'll stick to the car theme. I love cars or anything with wheels on it. Except for motorcycles, not a big motorcycle guy, sorry. You know, I mean, love them, you know, love the culture, but I'm just person not big in them. So, you know, four wheels, we'll talk about it all day long. All right, so if you guys have uh, anything else you want to you know, let me know, go ahead and leave it. Oh, there it is. There's the oil drain. Yes, okay, we know where you are now. So I'm guessing I ate that $100. All right, yeah, so, uh, you know, feel free to, you know, put your comments down below, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye. Hey guys, X here. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment below. And if you like what you see, tap that subscribe button. Also, check out the channel for other videos and game series. Alright, till next time.